Hey guys, welcome back to Gotham Budget, and today we're making our own DIY pocket altar. Yes, I actually practiced some kind of witchcraft and spells. And this is my altar I like to keep in my backpack. Especially with all the stress from work and school. This actually helped me get through the day. I burn some incense and then I feel better. So right now I'm making a chalice and a bowl out of cl uh, air dry clay. I think you guys can get that at Walmart. And I'm going to paint it brown to represent wood because I meant to get wood ones. Now each altar is different. I'm using my altar to to worship the moon goddess. But you can also represent any other go goddesses or gods. It's really up to you. So after I paint this, I'm going to dry and then I'm going to show you what else I put into my altar. So first off, I got this Altoids tin from my boyfriend. And it's funny because everyone asked me for a mint when they see my backpack and yeah, they're not mints. So first off, I'm going to uh, draw, or sorry, trace out the outline for the moon god symbol which is like a moon and then the crescent moon. Uh, on the sides. You can draw whatever, you can have cute little pictures, up to you. Glitter. Okay, here I'll be like glitter. And next up I'm just gonna start putting my stuff in. And these are just like little miniature stuff I find. So birthday candles, there wasn't uh, fire, water, earth. And then I am missing my uh, white crown, sorry, white candle. And then some incense. They, I got it at a Japanese store in little Tokyo, in LA. And I'm putting in some sandalwood incense. Along with my candles and my incense burner, which is the little square thing. My tumble stones that are amethyst, smoke pea quartz, and rose quartz. And I think that's a moonstone. Yeah, those are going there. And those help release stress and anxiety. My little uh, shell that I got from the ocean. My blade. These are all like little charms that you can get from necklaces. And then those bottles I got from Michael's actually came in handy. So I'm putting some pink Himalayan salt into my altar to keep my altar pure. And then my chalice and my bowls. Oops, I meant my feathers. And it helps there isn't wind. So now I'm gonna put the chalice and the bowl in. And then to draw on the rest of my moon symbol. After this, you can either bless it in the moonlight on a full moon. <laughs> when you do that, I feel like the altar will have more power. Okay. I will make some moon water into moonlight and sprinkle moon water onto the altar. You can also paint the outside of the uh, tin can so you don't get stopped off the outside. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY video.